So the seafoam actually remove the carbon on a piston and valves if you pour it into a carburetor or into the throttle body uh, into the intake manifold of an engine and run it through. We've all seen the videos. There's smoke rolling out the exhaust, the engine sputtering. Um, there's just a lot of drama involved with all this smoke going everywhere. But is seafoam anything besides a bunch of smoke? Does it actually work? Um, I did two previous videos on seafoam in which I did a triple seafoam as well as a Lucas test. And in that video, I ran seafoam through the tank, through the intake manifold, and I added it to the oil. I saw a dramatic improvement. But what I did not do is I did not do a before and after of the, the piston and valves. I didn't go into each of the cylinders. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cylinder head on this lawnmower or on this mower engine before we um, even add seafoam. We're going to get a, a picture and a good look at how much carbon there is on the piston and valves. They're going to reinstall the cylinder head. We're going to add seafoam to the carburetor. We're going to add half a can, just run it through. We're going to blow a whole bunch of smoke as you always uh, see in all these other videos. And then we're going to take the cylinder head back off and look for proof that it actually works. So today, if you're questioning whether or not seafoam actually works, I think by the end of this video, you'll have definitive proof. You can tell there's a varied amount of carbon built up on this piston as well as the valves. There's a spot here on the valve that doesn't have very much carbon, but the rest of the valve looks pretty coated. Also, there's sort of a bare spot here on the cylinder that um, it's, it's dark like there's a lot of carbon, but there really isn't. But there is a great deal of carbon up in here, and it's fairly um, carbon free on this side. So anyway, I'm glad I selected this engine. This engine has a lot of carbon buildup. This is going to be a really good test to see if seafoam can break free some of this carbon. So I've got the cylinder head pulled off, and as you can see, there's a lot of carbon buildup on this head. There's uh, more carbon, it looks like, around. Um, there's pockets of carbon buildup. They're a lot thicker. And some of the other areas, not quite so thick. So this is going to be a really good engine to use as a test to see if seafoam can break up some of this carbon. So in order to get, add the sea foam to the intake, what I'm going to have to do is remove the air filter. And also because this carburetor is on sideways, I'm going to have to use a funnel setup to feed the uh, engine the sea foam. So what I'm going to do is add 8 ounces of sea foam into the measuring cup. I'm going to run half the can through the engine. And so as I'm adding the sea foam, you'll see a lot of smoke. And the, when I get near the end of the, uh, the measuring cup, when it's just about empty, I'm going to uh, basically stall out the engine, allow it to hot soak for about um, 15 to 20 minutes.
Okay, I just stalled the engine out by adding enough sea foam to cause it to stall. So now what I'm going to do is allow this to hot soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. Come back, I'm gonna start it up, and then I'm gonna take this back in the shot, remove the cylinder head, and see if there's any difference. The engine's been hot soaking for about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine and uh, see how it runs. The engine's cooled off now, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the head and we'll see what the inside of this engine looks like. Okay, this is the big reveal. Let's see what it looks like. Just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you would, please leave comments in the comments section regarding whether or not you think the Seafoam made a difference. So anyway, if you like these videos, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I really appreciate the comments and thank you for watching the video.